Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, morning, overnight, whatever you've got going on. Thanks so much for stopping by. And as you can see, we've got another unboxing. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm sure you're familiar, you've seen this box once, twice, a million times, or maybe it's your first time. But this is from Diamond Art Club, and I've got it flipped backwards so we can do a, a little reveal of the kit. Um, this is a canvas that I saw on the Diamond Art Club site quite a while ago, but it was showing as out of stock. And when I looked up videos, the videos weren't super recent. I was like, okay, this is one that's just not not going to be coming back for a while. I haven't seen a lot of excitement around it in a number of months, if not year. So um, I kind of let it go, and, but I did put it on my wish list or on the notifications, and lo and behold, it came back in stock. And I really went back and forth on should I get it, should I not get it? I already have too many kits, but it was just too good of an image to pass up. So here it is, and we're going to take a look. And without further ado, we are looking at... Da, da, da. Majestic Ship. This is by Image World MHS Licensing. This is a square drill canvas, 98 by 70 centimeters. Big, big canvas, big project, but I love ocean theming. I really like um, kind of that, um, the ship style. There's an old masters um, that is some junk ships in a harbor that I really like, but this is, this kind of speaks to me just the same. So um, I'm just taking the plastic cover off here. And um, this might be the last time I mention it going forward. It's just gonna be my default, but I am going to be showing you the canvas and the drills first, and then we'll talk about the toolkit last. I know a lot of folks that watch uh, my channel are uh, familiar with how unboxings work and don't need necessarily need to go through the basics or the, you know kind of the first few things however we're still going to talk about them it'll just be at the end so if you are someone that's like hey i'm new you need to tell me don't worry stick through the entire video and you'll get everything that you need to know about working on a diamond art club canvas so there's that i've just unpacked that box um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you the little mini sticker. We do, we will talk about the stickers. Little mini sticker, Majestic Ship Image World Square Drill, 98 by 70 centimeter. You can put this on the outside of your box. You can also um, use this in your log book. However you like to use a fun little mini sticker of your kit. Setting the tool kit aside for now, here's our canvas. It comes in that plastic um, protective cover. Just going to go ahead and open that up never do that well. I want it just to like glide off like un un unsticky, but I always end up ripping it. Ooh, this is packed in here tightly. Holy moly. Is that me or is that the... Oh wow, this kit is really in here. Jeez. Okay. Uh, there we go. Got it, got it, I got it. Whoa, messed up the tablecloth. Okay, put that away. Okay, so inside this canvas, we're going to have our um, diamonds or our drills that side here. We're also going to have a couple other pieces of information there, which we'll cover one of those right now. You get, you're going to get a larger sticker sheet. Whoa, I did not realize there were so many colors. So there's that larger sticker sheet, Majestic Ship. Majestic Ship? <laughs> 65 colors. We've nearly maxed out what they can put on this sticker sheet. And we've got one, two, three, four Aurora Borealis drills, which we'll talk about once we uh, take a look at those. But look at that image. So take a look at that. Remember what that image looks like in that detail. And I can't wait to show you this rendering. This is, this is why I decided that it was one that I had to pick up. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and roll this canvas backwards. I'm going to look up as I'm doing it so I can't see it just yet. It is hitting my legs, though. It's big. <laughs> um, okay, hopefully I can roll this back. There we go. Awesome. So we're just going to roll this canvas in the reverse direction that it was in the box, just so it'll lay a little bit flat once we um, put it on the table. You don't have to do this. If you just let them rest on your table, they'll flatten on their own over, I've seen it happen as quickly as like a couple minutes. Sometimes I'll leave them overnight. It just depends. But okay, are we ready for Majestic Ship? There we go. 
Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Hopefully, I, I don't I don't think you'll get, be able to see all of it, but hopefully you can get the vast majority. There we go. That's not too bad. You can see pretty much all of it. Look at that detail. Isn't that like even on camera without any drills on it, it looks fantastic. So you've got kind of your little castle or kind of like fort in the background and just this awesome ship with like the waves um, or the choppy water kind of cresting along the side of the ship. And then that really incredibly uh, varied and detailed sky. The sky is where I really think they went all out. Um, but the ship itself just has amazing detail. Whoever was responsible for hand rendering this, um, hats off to you. The fact that we're able to get all of the different lines and stuff, all the detailing for the um, for the masts in in such detail. I mean, the work that it would have taken to like get all of those those just right so they don't look messy is stunning. It's stunning. I I'm so excited now that I see it in person. I'm like, I have to start working on this. Oh no, <laughs> another whip. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, and I will talk enhancements once we finish the drills. Okay, so I'm going to pause you for just a moment. This is very loud to open and organ or lay out. So I'm going to do that on my own. And then when we come back, we'll talk about the colors. Okay, one second. Okie dokie. So we're just going to run through these. Anytime I spot an AB or Aurora Borealis drill, I'm going to clip them out so we can figure out where they go um, when we're all done. This is a very big canvas with a lot of colors, so sometimes it can be hard to, to um, suss out where they're located, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, 640, 815, 436, 907, 814, 904, 129, our first AV, kind of like a buttery yellow. 135. And the one right next to it's also an AV kind of like a chartreuse color of 135. So we'll get that too. Yeah. Right. I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut into the bag when I do that. <laughs> 3810, 782, 796, 905, 333, 797, 356, 133, that's our third AB, nice bright orange. Seven seventy five one thirty eight. There's our final AB all in this strand. That's awesome. That's a nice blue. All the ABs in one place. Okay, there's that. And that's okay. Thirty seven forty six and four fifteen. Three fifty two eight thirty four three fifty one six forty six two bags five ninety seven. 334, two bags, 3024, 938, 992, 3755, 155, 413, 3778, 3371, two bags, 3760, three bags. Ooh. Lots of drills. 728, 3843, 321, 606. 3811, 3865, 3033, 799, it looks like, yep, and there's two bags of that. 317, two bags, 648, two bags, 30, 3861, two bags, 647, two bags, 3799, and 758, two bags. Okay, we're getting there. 433, two bags. Ooh, I love that color. 3814, two bags. 645, 3809, 3860, 318, 890, 995, 712, 310. Only two bags. Wow. 780, 993, 3855, 783, 3808, two bags, and 334. 798 two little or not two little bags but all by themselves <laughs> 
So I'm surprised by the color variance. That sky is just gonna look so good. It's kind of got that stormy sea a little bit vibe to it. Um, but that ship, wow, oh wow. Let's talk about where these ABs go. Our first one is 129, that kind of like buttery yellow. And if you're not familiar with what an AB is or a Aurora Borealis, it's just a drill that's got, or a diamond that's got that kind of iridescent kind of film laid on top of it or coating on it. It's just used for highlighting in certain areas of canvases. So number one, it's gonna be here, just touching these clouds here, here, and here. Um, and that might be it. So I'm gonna put it there for now. We've also got 133, which is that kind of orange color. And that's gonna be symbol number two. I'm seeing that a little bit in the flag here. Um, da, da, da. Just a little bit down here. Oh, and then a bunch in the tops of the castle here, or the fort, and just a little bit in the detailing of the side of the ship. It's mostly here. Ooh, there's a bunch in that flag too. So I'm gonna put that here. Then we've got 135, which is going to be that green color, and that's symbol number three, all in the rolling kind of hills or cliffside of this village fort kind of thing. So I'm going to put that here. And then 138 is going to be symbol number four. That's our nice blue color. I'm seeing that here in, in the background of the ship here, um, also here and here. So it looks like it's just kind of in the background of the ship. There's some here. So it's kind of highlighting some streaks of the clouds kind of running through the center right here. So I'm going to put that there for now. So, oh my gosh, do you love it? I love it. I got it at Diamond Art Club. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I, would, what I would do as far as enhancing this just out of the bat. This rendering is gorgeous. There's not any glaring -ish things where I'm like, ooh, they could, that's a missed opportunity, you know? It all looks really good. Um, I'm taking a look at the original image. I could see myself potentially maybe finding some, um, some crystals or, I don't know. I almost wish that they had, this might sound crazy, but I almost wish that they had drills that were more of a matte finish and almost kind of dull. Is that weird? Um, because there's a lot of this wood detailing here that I think the sparkly bits, the lighter colors would be highlighted even more in regular drills. If maybe some of those like browns and tans were almost more of like a, like a, like a matte finished brown, I think that would look kind of cool. And then maybe even transition that to some more shiny browns and stuff when you can see like closer to the water, maybe it's been slapped by the water. So it's got that glimmer. I don't know. There, I think there's some up there. That could be an interesting thing. Um, maybe here in these areas, I could see dressing these up with maybe some crystals just to give it a little bit more of a shimmer. But to be honest, I think that they've done a fantastic job. Maybe I would do some crystals in the, the flags just to make those really pop. But this is just a gorgeous kit. Absolutely gorgeous. Not a lot of room for me to... <laughs> to he'd be like, I can, I can make this even more myself or better. Like it looks fantastic. I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. I really was like, uh, if it's around, cause spoilers at the time of filming this, we still haven't gotten to Black Friday yet. I know I record way in advance, um, but I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll wait for Black Friday um, and see if it's still in stock. And it just was like, I thought about it at work that day and I was like, you're gonna be really upset if you don't snag it. I mean, just looking at it in the camera, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's, it looks like a painting. How cool. Can you imagine what it's gonna look like with drills on it? Okay, all right, I'm done gushing over this. I'm glad I got it because I, now that I'm saying it out loud, I really do love it. This is fantastic. So a lot of confetti um, throughout. You're gonna have some smaller sections of color blocking in the sky, actually some bigger sections. But once you get to this ship, it's just busy. There's a lot of detail, a lot going on, but I am up for the challenge. Um, so yeah, if you are new to um, Diamond Art Club and you're like, this speaks to me, I wanna go on the site and make my first purchase, or your first purchase of any kit and you wanna help me out a little bit, I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. So you will see an affiliate link at the 
um, in the description of this page. So you can click on that link, make your purchase through that link, and it helps me out a little bit, allows me to bring some additional content, more kits to the channel, and just send some love my way. And I love you guys, so <laughs> um, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, what you think about this kit. Do you have it? Have you completed it? Are you excited to see it? Are you headed over to the site now to see if it's in stock? Let me know. Um, otherwise, anything else you need, just leave that in the comments. Um, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, thanks again so much for watching and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.